Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy Fonte Cabrillo with another video and this one guys I'm going to be comparing an iPhone 10 to an iPhone SE both on iOS 12 beta 2 guys So as always stay tuned Guys, both phones here have nothing in the background as you can see So I'm gonna start with calendar and That was identical Going for weather app It does seem identical as well So a iPhone SE is doing well Maps That was definitely faster on iPhone 10 Going for app store and definitely faster than iPhone 10. So yeah, iPhone 10 is slightly faster there. That's it. Notes. And that was faster than iOS 10. So I got keyboard speed is the same. Next up, guys, stocks. That was slightly faster on iOS iPhone 10 as well. Leaving, going for iTunes Store. And definitely iPhone 10 is faster guys going for phone dialer exactly the same going for Safari loading Apple I'm just gonna load Apple come here I'm just gonna click on just load something let's go for iPhone and that was again slightly faster on iPhone 10 but that's it guys slightly only going for home kit I was actually faster on iPhone C so guys going for settings about the same speed so settings is both on both devices now going for some third-party apps guys so first up Geekbench 4 wow that was actually faster than iPhone SE guys so going for onto the benchmark 2 onto the benchmark sorry about the same uh, though I think I see was slightly faster Instagram wow I think the SE was actually faster loading the latest content Going for YouTube. Is it possible? No, actually, 10 was faster. Google Earth. Identical, guys. So A9 is about the same speed as A10. A11, guys, even. So going for Yelp. That was actually faster than iPhone SE, though it had less stuff to load. So, guys, going for Shazam. Oh, that, about, that was about the same, guys. Leaving. Swiping is faster than clicking on the home button, guys. It's way faster. So, going for critical ops. So, both phones are really fast, guys, but you're paying a lot more for the iPhone 10. Though you're getting a bigger screen, more features, and so on. So, so really, there are a lot of more things on the 10 that you can get. Like the camera, better battery life, and so on. Okay, so the iPhone 10 wins here. Better GPU, of course, it should be. Definitely, guys. Going out. So guys, going for Mario Run. So guys, definitely the screen here is way bigger. I mean, guys, you're paying, but you're getting better screen, more up to date, all that, all the features, three touch, of course. That was faster than iPhone 10, slightly. Going out, going for Jetpack Joyride. Okay, guys, there, there is actually some difference when it comes to loading games. Going out, guys, going for Subway Surfers. Some meditation there on the iPhone 10 while launching the game for some reason. Wow, guys, definitely iPhone 10 is a beast here. Wow. Going out. Now, guys, going for Temperan 2. Seems faster than the iPhone 10. But, guys, I mean, the SE is really competing really good with iPhone 10. It's like really forcing it to step up its game. So, guys, look at the difference. It's like almost nothing. You're paying f four times the price, but you're getting almost almost the same speed. Faster, of course, better experience. But still, guys, when it, when it comes to speed, both phones are perfect. Now, guys, going for some multitasking. So, 2 gigs of RAM versus 3. So, we're going to start with the calendar. About the same, I mean, the, more than the refresh. Wow, wow, so this was a refresh on the iPhone SE. Usually, the iPhone SE doesn't refresh. I mean, guys, when I used to compare the SE to the 10, 
previously on iOS 11, sometimes the SE would not refresh anything and the, and the 10 would. So now guys, maybe with iOS 12, sadly guys, they're kind of trying to kill devices with 2 gigabit of RAM. I hope not because, I mean, it doesn't make sense. Going for notes. Because guys, if you think about it, the uh, iPhone 6 didn't really get an improvement in RAM management. Box, iTunes, both are good. Phone, Safari. Wow, Safari had to refresh on the iPhone 10, not on the SE though. So it's a draw tool now. One refresh here, one here. So let's see. Home kit, settings, notes, YouTube, Geekbench 4. Onto the benchmark, it refreshes always, guys. Instagram, Google Earth. Wow, both had to refresh. Yelp, Critical Ops, both had to refresh. Mario Run. Jetpack Joyride. Temperan 2. Finally, Subway Surfers. So both phones did refresh exactly the same amount of apps. So it's a draw, guys, but this has one gig extra RAM almost, but still, so it's the uh, same thing. Now, guys, gonna go for into the benchmark test before Geekbench just to get better scores here, because phones are basically heating up and getting lower scores always. So test the game. Right guys, here we have the scores. So the scores, to be honest, is kind of terrible on the 10, for example. So the phone is kind of dimmed, so it's kind of throttled, even though this phone has a per almost perfect battery. But the point here, guys, is to show you the scores. So um, definitely, guys, better CPU, better RAM, memory, better GPU, all, everything is guys, be better, guys, on the, on the iPhone 10. As you can see, these are the scores. You can just pause the video. Now, guys, going for a Geekbench test. Here guys going for a CPU test, just gonna run benchmarks and show you the scores right away. Alright guys, here we have the scores. So it's the first time for me seeing an iPhone 10 with a lower multi-core score than 10,000. Probably it's because of throttling, because the phone is overheated. But still the scores are really good. As you can see, there's a big difference. Multi-core, there's like almost 1,700 difference. And then with multi-core score, it's like double. So there's a big difference in battery life. So that phone lost 34%, it's just lost 14%. So there's some difference. Though this has a higher wear level, so 12%. This has only a 3% wear level, so there's some difference as well. So definitely uh, the iPhone 10. But when it comes to battery life, it's a beast. It's like a plus phone. All right, guys, there you have the comparison. So I want to say that the SE is really good. I mean, it was neck and neck with iPhone 10. Though uh, with RAM management, they were exactly the same, even though the 10 has one extra gigabyte for RAM, but still they both refresh two apps. Uh, apart from that, battery life is way better on the iPhone 10, of course, guys. But then, uh, I mean, if you really just need, need some speed on the phone, SE is a really good bargain for like quarter the price. So, hope you guys like the video. Subscribe for more content. Peace out.